my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and these are the hottest comics of the week. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. Um, right now, there is the Bobby Blue collection that's being sold on Comic Connect, and I believe <laughs> that it's sort of pulling a lot of the attention to itself. Like, it is, it's a big, it is a big auction, and um, I want to look at how that is impacting the other big auction houses especially heritage auctions. So I'm going to be looking at the top 10 uh, superhero sales that happened on uh, heritage auctions. So did did the big Bobby Blue collections, you know, pull all the attention away and kill the prices <laughs> for these major golden age books? Or were there some strong sales? So we're going to look into it and see what happened. Um, should be it, it, it's a pretty interesting list so the first one on the list number 10 is all-star comics number 14 this is a 1942 book uh it's a joe gallagher cover uh it features the whole team <laughs> like of all the gsa um it also has a hitler appearance inside um and it's the first time where they have the jsa junior membership so you could you know you could write in and become uh, you know a member of the jsa <laughs> like a, you know a junior member so kind of a cool book in that respect um it was a six five that came up for sale on heritage and it sold for one thousand three hundred and twenty dollars now this is a new record actually um the prior record for for this book was $840 set back in November of 2019. So it's up 40% um, from that prior record. So pretty good, <laughs> pretty good um, increase in value. So there are 63 of these on the census and 50 of them are universal blue labels. Number nine on the list is Batman number 73. This is from November of 1952. It is a Dick Spring cover. Uh, and it's a cool Joker cover. It's like got all these like Jokers. It almost looks like they're coming out of Jack in the Box kind of like things. And they're all like just a bunch of Jokers <laughs> like popping out. Um, and um, yeah, it's just a cool Joker cover. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this one was a 5.5 that came up for sale. And it was for $1,440. Now, this is way down, actually. This one <laughs> didn't do so well. Um, the record for this book was set back in September of 2018 for $3,250. So it's actually down all, uh, more than 50%. Um, however... Um, that one sale, that 3,200 sale, was kind of a weird sale. Um, if you look at the trend line, it's just sort of this outlier. <laughs> it's just like this crazy price. Um, the more of a trend line would be like like the 600 to $1,000 range would be more within the trend line. Um, but it just had this massive sale uh, for 3,250 back in 2018. Um, now it looks like it's just corrected back to where it should have been, uh, because if you follow the trend line for this book, 14, uh, 1400 is in that trend. So it's a little bit of a weird one. Um, definitely down from the height, the heights that this book had received, but, um, in line with the overall trend for this book. There are 234 of these on the census and 216 of them are universal blue labels. Next on the list is Science Comics number eight. This is from Fox uh, Publishing, uh, Feature Syndicate, I should say, uh, from 1940. Uh, it was actually the last issue in the series. Um, these Captain Science books are quite hard to find. Uh, this was the eagle was on the cover, or the, that's the character on the cover. And um, this was an interesting sale because it was a high grade copy that came up for sale. When I say high grade, <laughs> it's golden age high grade. So this was a 6.0 that came up for sale and it sold for $1,680. Uh, 
Um, this is the highest sale ever for this book in any grade. Um, there was an 8.0 that sold for uh, $1,315 back in 2016, but this just, you know, it's higher than that. So, so 6.0 sold more, for more than what uh, 8.0 sold for in 2016. So very strong sale. Uh, it's the first sale in the grade, so we don't know how it would have compared to itself but uh, it is a very strong sale. And just to give you a sense of how hard these books are to find, there are only 14 of these on the census and 13 of them are universal blue labels. So just a rare, rare book. Um, number seven on the list is Captain America Comics number 30. This is from Timely, 1943. Uh, it's a Sid Shores cover and it's a bondage cover with Bucky in bondage. He's just sort of in the corner and you can see that he's in bondage and you got Captain America coming in to save him. Um, just a cool uh, cover. Uh, this was a 3.5 that came up for sale and it sold for $1,860, um, which is a new record in the grade, but um, there was a 3.0 that sold, so a slightly lower grade, that actually sold for more in August of 2022 for 2160 So this was actually a little bit down <laughs> So um, compared to the prior record. Uh, well, not prior record because it is its own record, but prior a lower grade copy that had sold. So kind of a weird one. So maybe, maybe that Bobby Blue thing was a bit of a distraction. So we'll see. Uh, if it continues the trend. These were the most, these were the biggest sales. I just took the top 10 sales and just to see what they did. Um, the next one that sold was uh, Marvel Mystery Comics number 34. Uh, this is another timely book uh, from 1942. It's an Alex Schomburg cover, which makes it extra interesting. Um, and it actually has a text feature in it where they're complaining about Hitler. <laughs> so that's extra bonus as well uh but it's one of these ones with a crazy machine on it and like crazy vampire like creatures and like uh the human torch is in there and just a bondage cover as well where you know it's like <laughs> looks like you know um toro which is uh the human torch's kind of sidekick is going to get garbarated <laughs> into this weird machine um just a crazy cover um, and with these kind of weird vampire-like characters around. Um, just a really cool book. Um, so this was a 3.5 restored copy that came up for sale. Uh, it's a C2. C2 means that it's um, amateur, moderate restoration. And uh, it was uh, a sale for $2,040. This is a interesting one because there was no prior records for this book in this grade. Um, so we don't know how it would compare to like a blue label because there was no blue label sales in this grade. Um, now there was a 3.0 blue label that came up for sale uh, in August of 2022, so last year, uh, for 1800 So this actually sold for more than the slightly lower 3.0 copy. Um, so extra $200 for a restored copy, which is a fairly strong sale. Uh, I would have expected this to be around the $1,600 mark, um, because it is a year later and it's a slightly higher grade, but it is restored. Um, generally with restoration, uh, depending on the quality of the restoration, if that makes sense, because it's like A, B, C, A being the most professional and B being moderate and then um, like moderately professional and then C just being amateur. Um, this one's a C2, which means it's moderate restoration in terms of the amount of restoration and um, amateur. So uh, you would expect that that would hurt the price a fair amount because you know people want something that can be reversed and amateur restoration is generally the hardest to reverse. So, um, interesting book, uh, very strong sale for a restored copy. Uh, there are 59 of these on the census and 52 of them are universal blue labels. The next one is another Marvel Mystery Comics, issue number 39 this time. 
Uh, this is from Timely as well, from 1943, and it is... Uh, really great one with Nazi flag like so anything that kind of really captures the time period of like um, Second World War like having that Nazi flag the tattered flag um, uh, war scene you know you got the human torch you got this kind of like bunker like thing the battlefields like planes and everything just captures that moment of the battle um, really great cover uh, so another Alex Schomburg cover as well uh, just Alex Schomburg has a tendency of putting lots of detail into his art um, and people love that uh, and this is one of those great covers uh, this was a four or five that came up for sale and it's another restored copy um, this one is even more restored it, it was amateur c4 so c amateur m moderate to extensive restoration uh, and it sold for $2,280. Um, typically, uh, a blue label like would sell for around $1,800, $1,600, somewhere around there. Um, there was a 4.5 that had sold in 2020 uh, for a blue label that sold for $1,560. So this is actually a up over the blue label uh, from 2020 by like seven hundred dollars <laughs> that's a pretty pretty major amount considering this is restored and very extensively restored um so that this was a very very strong sale um there are 40 of these on the census and 33 of them are universal blue labels just so you know that these marvel timely books are really hot right now and um we can see that in the pricing Okay, next one is um, a really cool comic. Uh, my good friend uh, Steve Gettner was kind of associated to this comic. Um, this is New York World's Fair 1939, um, which is the first appearance of the Sandman in comics. And the reason I mentioned Stephen Gettner was there was a debate about whether or not this was the first appearance of the Sandman uh, in comics. And um, he did some research and found that it indeed was the first that made the newsstands. So um, pretty big deal. This came out in um, uh, April of 1939 and it's a Vincent Sullivan cover. Uh, it also has one other kind of interesting thing about it. It has a blonde Superman on the cover, <laughs> which is very interesting. Um, now. This is rated as 95th out of the top 100 Golden Age comics of all time. So uh, kind of interesting book from by Overstreet, actually. They, they were the ones that rated it. Um, there was a, this was a 2.0 that sold, and it sold for $2,400. Now, that is actually a record, because the prior record for this book was set back in February of 2019 for $1,700. However, this is way down from what we would have expected for this book. There was a 1.5 that sold for $3,600 uh, in 2021. So this is way down <laughs> from, from what the 0.5, uh, 1.5 had sold for. So 1.5 had sold for 3,600 and this sold for 2,400. That's pretty serious. I actually bought my copy. I have a 1.5 as well. Uh, for seventeen hundred, so um, had I, I had I known, I could have gotten a much better copy for a pretty good price. I mean, that is, um, it was a, this one a bit of a steal in a way. I would I would say. Um, the next one, number three on the list, is Captain America. Oh, sorry. Oh, before I say, um, there were one hundred and sixteen of these on the census, and seventy six, seventy nine of them are Universal Blue labels. Number three on the list is Captain America Comics number 31. This is Timely Again from 1943. Another Alex Schomburg cover. And this time we finally get a woman in bondage. Before it was like Bucky or Toro. <laughs> well, now we got a, we finally get a woman in bondage. Uh, and it's a great cover. Like, I mean, again, Schomburg is putting in th the details. Lots of, like, there's machine guns. There's even a Nazi, or Jap uh, sorry, Japanese guy with a hatch, like a butcher's knife. It's just like crazy details um, that just add to the cover. 
um, the girl in bondage, you know, that that's another thing that people love. Um, but these uh, wartime sort of um, propaganda covers really do appeal to collectors. And uh, this was a this is definitely a major book. Um, so this was a 2.5 that came up for sale and it sold for two thousand four hundred dollars. Uh, this is way up. Uh, the prior record for this book was $441, set back in 2013. So uh, it's up a lot. It's up like five times compared to um, its prior record. Uh, but that was 10 years ago. So you would expect that it would maybe doubled, doubled, maybe tripled in price. But to go up five times, that's a pretty significant sale. Uh, there are 64 of these on the census, and 51 of them are Universal Blue Labels. Next on the list is a really great book that I have in my collection, actually. Um, I was excited to see this sale. Uh, this was uh, Batman number 49. This is from 1948. It's a Bob Kane cover, and it is the first appearance of Vicki Vale and the Mad Hatter. So a double key, and to add bonus to it, it is a very cool uh, Joker cover. It's like an iconic Joker cover with him being kind of like a genie. Um, so this was a 4.5 that sold, and it sold for $2,520. Uh, this is down <laughs> as well. Um, the record for this book was set back in September of 2022 for $3,360. Now the this is just it is what it is it, it's just it it has gone down uh it's a shame that it's dropped this much but um my copy is a six five and i got mine for dirt cheap too so i bought mine when there was something else going on when there was a auction that just was not being watched and i picked up a really cheap copy that's what this seems like this seems like a bit of a steal uh because yeah, I don't know how people miss this one. This was a pretty, pretty, um, pretty great sale. Uh, somebody got a good deal on this one. So uh, this, there are 270 of these on the census, and 246 of them are Universal Blue Label. But just a really great book because those three reasons: Joker cover, first Vicky Vale, first um, Mad Hatter, very big key book. Okay, number one on the list. I love this book. I really, <laughs> this is one of my, one of my favorite uh, books from this series. This is Daredevil Comics number 11. And this is from 1942. It is a Charles Biro cover. And it's just a crazy cover. It's got this girl, she's in this weird kind of stocks bondage cover. Um, and she's being tickled by like a Quasimodo kind of character. <laughs> It's just such a weird, weird cover. And he's like, he's tickling her feet. What is going on? And you got all these guys in like uh, cages around her. Uh, just a really cool cover. Um, kind of a classic bondage torture cover. And, just, and also inside, to add more to this coolness, is it, it has both electrocution and hanging panels. So really a cool book uh, if you like classic horror and bondage and torture. <laughs> All the wonderful stuff. Um, this was a 5.0 that sold, and it sold for $3,600. Um, this is up slightly from its uh, prior record, which was set back in June of 2019 for $3,265. Uh, there are 39 of these on the census, and 36 of them are Universal Blue Labels. So just a strong sale, um, you know, 10% from its prior record and just a cool book. I I really like that book. Actually, I've been trying to get a copy of uh, Daredevil Comics number 11. It's just a cool, cool book. I, I, I like those kind of silly um, bondage covers. So um, again, this has been the top hottest books from the Golden Age for the week. Um, and it's interesting, like uh, kind of a hit or miss. Um, you know, maybe because everyone was focusing on this Bobby Blue collection, it kind of took detracted from the success of these auctions. So interesting, interesting sales. Um, I hope people enjoy this. What do you think? Do you think the Bobby Blue collection took away from the Heritage auctions or other auctions? 
Uh, did you get some steals as a result? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks for, again for watching. Bye for now.